YNW Melly fans finally have something to be excited about. There's been some new updates with YNW Melly being released from prison, which we'll discuss in today's video. So make sure you watch until the end. You will not want to miss what we have to show you. Also, if you'd like to be entered in this month's iPhone 10 giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel, like this video and comment YNW Melly and you'll be entered to win. YNW Melly seems to have some of the most loyal fans in the rap game who show him continuous support. And when you're facing life in prison, having endless support can be all you need to make it through life's hardest struggles, and it's no secret that Melly has been facing his hardest struggles since being locked up. For those of you who don't know, YN Melly first gained international recognition when he released his hit single, Murder on My Mind, a song whose title, for obvious reasons, sparked the public's interest when he was charged with double murder. Melly was 15 years old when he started posting his songs on SoundCloud and continued even while being in and out of prison for one crime or the other. He released the series of singles while in prison. On August of 2018, he released his debut album, I Am You. The album peaked at number 192 on the Billboard 200 as of January 2019. He released a second mixtape, we All Shine, featuring Kanye West and Fredo Bang while incarcerated. Millie has a record deal with 300 Entertainment and YSL Records. There's been a general debate on the rapper's sequence of arrests as most of his rap songs were released from prison and frankly, he never took any break in committing crimes. In 2015, he was involved in a shootout around a high school premise. Although no casualties, he was incarcerated a year later on charges of aggravated assault and discharging a firearm in public. He served his one-year sentence in a Florida jail where he reportedly wrote his hit song, Murder on My Mind. In March 2017, Murder on My Mind was uploaded on SoundCloud, which garnered 16 million plays in just a week. Since then, YN Melly has been arrested on several other occasions, but none of them were extreme enough to keep him locked up. But then that all changed when on February 13, 2019, Melly was arrested and charged with two counts of first-degree murder in the death of his childhood friends, Anthony Williams and Christopher Thomas Jr., also known as YNW Sack Chasen and YNW Juvie, and was ordered to remain in jail without bonds. They'd been reportedly shot multiple times in what appeared to have been a drive-by shooting. They were driven immediately to the hospital where they were pronounced dead. The day after the murders, YNW Melly had taken to Instagram to mourn his deceased friends. He posted a picture of himself with his deceased friends under the caption, They took my brothers for me over jealousy. He wrote, I know y'all watching over me. It's YNW4, YNW Sack Chaser, YNW Juvie for life, and after, he went on about how the supposed perpetrators of the murder wants him locked up. Although Melly claims to be innocent, police believe this was an inside job by YNW Melly and one of his friends, Cortland Hendry. It's believed that after they committed the crime, they made it look like it was a drive-by shooting to cover their tracks. After the police did their investigation, it turns out that there was never any evidence that a car came by and did the shooting, but actually it was carried out from inside of the car by Melly and his friend. On April 2019, things get much worse when the state of Florida filed a notice of intent to seek death penalty for the rapper on the grounds that, first, his murder was done for pecuniary gain, second, that it was especially heinous, atrocious, or cruel. Finally, they claim to have proved that Melly was a member of a criminal gang, which doesn't help his cause. Many believe Melly to be innocent, as he did turn himself into the police, and there seems to be no motive for this crime. Which doesn't make a lot of sense in why YN Melly would actually carry these accusations out, especially considering they were his good friends and not some random people or rival gang members. Melly is currently still in prison, awaiting his verdict, but with new updates, things are starting to look very good for Melly and his fans. He was recently seen in court smiling and looking very happy. He's present. December 19th is the status, because it's not a counter call, it's going to be a regular status. December 19th? Right, you said six months, that's five months. Yeah, that's so fine. That's fine. And then on... Um, on that same day, it was Ebony Samuel, um, on 
three. It's a PTI completion. He also made a statement claiming that he'll be home soon, which gives many hope that he'll be set free, not only dodging a life sentence, but also the death penalty. There's still more details yet to come out in this case, and the trial is not over, but at least there's been some newfound hope. Let us know what you think in the comments. If you're a YN Melly fan, leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and we'll see you in the next one.